Hello there and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at how you can use JupyterLab Desktop. So basically if you have been following uh, the Jupyter project and you are familiar with the Python world, you have the option now to install JupyterLab as a desktop application. And basically uh, if you go to the releases on the GitHub page, you will have the option to download it for Mac OS, Debian, Fedora, and even Windows. So that's what I did. I downloaded the installer and installed it. So I didn't want you to <laughs> wait all that time. And once we start our JupyterLab application, we have the option to create either a new notebook a new session, open a file, open a folder, etc. And uh, let's take a look at the new notebook. So in the new notebook, you have the option to select the Python kernel. And we are using the default, which is the Python 3. You have the option to specify other kernels. But basically, this is what we are going to go with. And as you can see, this is a fully fledged desktop application that allow you to create new notebooks. And from here on, you have similar options as you do when you are using the web browser based Jupyter. So I could create a markdown cell, which would welcome you and then add the new cell below that. So welcome, and we could create a <coughs> code cell and use Python code to print out stuff on our console. Print I. And at the end, we would have the option to run every cell. And we can go ahead and basically upload even these files. So we could select our playbook or Jupyter notebook and go ahead and upload it. And inside the kernels, we have the option to change the kernel. Here you will have uh, all the kernels available listed. And basically we could switch out the theme for dark which is pretty neat and we have the advanced settings editor where we could configure how the jupyter lab desktop basically works and 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 what should we check let's go close it and start this one once again and Let's create a new session. So here we are. And this is the new session. I already got a new notification that there is a newer version. And uh, basically, that's it. So this is how you could use the JupyterLab desktop. And that was all. See you in the next one.